Hey what's up YouTubers my name is Sachin and you're watching the Tech Talks so in this video we're going to talk about the top 10 programming languages that you need to know in the year 2018 so earlier we had also made a video on the top 10 programming languages in the year 2017 so make sure you check it out now coming down to 2018 here are the top 10 languages so now let's get on my screen i have classified this list by the popularity market demand job availability and earnings now on number 10 is rust So Rust came in the first place in the year 2016 by the Stack Overflow Developer Survey for what developers love the most. Developed by Mozilla Foundation, the open source Rust programming language operates as a low-level language suited for performance critical code. What's more interesting about it is that it emphasizes safe code. That is, the objects are managed by the programming language from beginning to the end. Rust might be new, but it contends with C++ and C as potent programming language with its resource management algorithm. It borrows the concept of mutable borrowing to make resource management a streamlined, elegant process. On number nine is Objective C. Objective C is a general-purpose object-oriented language derived from C, and was used extensively by Apple for iOS and OS X development before Swift. Although Swift has gained much popularity, Objective C is still worth learning because you can create all types of apps and iOS frameworks. It works smoothly with Apple and supports dynamic typing. As a language, knowing Objective C is a great way to invest into your knowledge portfolio, and is especially useful for those who are interested in making apps for App Store. It's thus great for making native apps that are smooth and efficient for iOS softwares. At number eight is C Sharp, designed by Microsoft. This general-purpose multi-paradigm programming language was used for developing apps on Microsoft platform. C Sharp operates as a general-purpose object-oriented programming language. It works for apps powered by .NET framework. So if that's your market, C# Sharp is the best language to use for building native apps and is further recommended language for developing games using the Unity game engine. It was designed with simplicity and ease of use as a priority and because it's a high level language, it reaches closer to English. You can make anything in C# Sharp, right from web services to mobile apps, server applications and much more. So get your hands on into C# Sharp if that's what you're looking for. At number 7 is Java. Now Java is one of the most practical language to learn as it is designed to bypass the complexity of C++. In today's date, majority of the Fortune 500 companies use Java to develop back-end systems and desktop apps. It's highly portable language thanks to the JVM, which is the Java virtual machine. Java is used mainly for creating server-side applications, video games, and mobile apps. It's the core of native Android application development and is enormously popular among developers. So Java is still having an upper edge but there are more languages coming up and that's why Java is at number 7. Now moving ahead at number 6 is JavaScript. It came up as the most used programming language by developers as taken a survey on Stack Overflow. It allows you to build interactive websites alongside HTML and CSS because most browsers in some way implement JavaScript. For making interactive things for the web, JavaScript is the one. You'll see immediate results from your coding efforts with a little amount of tools. Adding on to this, JavaScript usage has extended to include mobile application development, game development, and desktop application development. It's definitely exploded in popularity and is definitely one of the best programming language out there. Some of the most popular JavaScript frameworks and libraries are Angular, Knockout, Backbone, React, and Ember. These are having a really high demand in today's IT industry. So make sure you get your hands on into JavaScript frameworks. Moving ahead at number five is C. C was established in the year 1972 to enable programmers to write the Unix operating system. It still proves very 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 popular language. It's one of the most widely used programming language in the world even on today's date. And because it operates as a machine level language, you will be able to learn how a program interacts with the hardware. Not only is it one of the most stable language, it works on nearly all computing platforms. Today, Dropbox, eBay, Spotify and all major companies are using C programming language and entirely Linux OS was written using the C language. Moving ahead at number 4 is C++. It was created in 1983 as an alternative to C and instantly gained popularity for some good reasons. It features predefined classes that can be used alongside classes a programmer may already be using. Microsoft Windows and Google Chrome are two of the most well-known softwares that are developed using C++. And indeed, most of the Adobe and much of the Amazon websites are also written in C++. This programming language has remained in demand because it is a powerful tool 
that is adaptable in variety of sectors including finance, banking, games, telecoms, electronic banking, retail and much more. Moving ahead at number 3 is PHP. Now PHP is widely used thanks to the WordPress. 80% of the top 10 million websites use PHP in some other other way including Facebook and Wikipedia. There are no hard rules on how to build features and it boasts flexibility in solving problems. It's a great choice for web development as it's mainly a server-side scripting language. So for web development, learning PHP is mandatory for success. Learning PHP puts you in the position to create stunning, dynamic websites and web applications. You can use PHP for various web development projects including e-commerce, mobile app development, content management system. It's an open source, easy to learn, with an easy database integration and has numerous applications and uses. Going ahead at number 2nd is Ruby. It's an object-oriented programming language found in the year 1993. It's 5 times more in demand than Python. In fact, Ruby is so easy that you can create an application in under 10 minutes. Groupon, Airbnb, PXLR, Bloomberg and many other websites are created in Ruby. Ruby operates as a dynamic object oriented because it reads like English, it makes the code easy to read. It's needed to maintain code databases for many high-end websites, so Ruby's demand is increasing, so much so that it becomes common within DevOps roles. Depending upon your company's needs, this could be one for you. Now this year on number 1st is Swift. More popular than Objective C, this is the language for developing native iOS and macOS applications and it's the programming language with the most potential for reshaping the future. Native apps have been found to outperform cross-platform hybrid apps. It builds itself on the successor of C and Objective-C without the constraints of compatibility. Swift has an edge over its competitors as it also hosts the automatic reference counting, that is the ARC, also well-known feature that tracks down and manages an app's memory usage in real time to make sure it's not taking too much memory. Using this language has the potential to give you an edge as iOS apps are generally more profitable than Android apps. So I hope you liked this video and you might have found out the programming language that you guys were looking for. So let me know in the comment section below and we'll have a talk on it. Also I hope that you might have subscribed to my channel. If not, then please do it right away and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.